So we actually got an update, the Military Base Rework update. Place an ice track on any path to exploit enemies, new looks, new tower models and new stats. Also new skins, but I don't really care about them. Voting rework, also don't really care, and some changes, improved iframes, whatever that means. So, let's try out the military base with the new rework. Apparently, it can now have a strikes. First off, let's see the new voting menu, how it looks like. This, this actually looks decent. For players who are experts at the game and want to test the limits, I think that mostly fits hardcore not fallen. For players who are familiar with the game and want a balanced experience. Uh, I think Molten is still one of the easy ones. Also, you can now ready up right away, which is super useful. You don't have to wait. Military base has been placed. And the first thing I noticed is the spawn time on level 1 is much, much better. I think it was like 45 seconds before, now it's 35. So it's 10 seconds faster. Isn't that much faster, but it's still faster regardless. Also, I should probably deactivate the auto skip so I don't get overwhelmed. Okay, let's wait for this one to spawn in and I'm gonna upgrade it to, to spawn faster. Let's see how much health. It has only 30 though. Oh, it explodes though. That's nice. So, on the start it only has 5 more health, which... Still isn't that great for $400. I think that's still kinda weak. Okay, let's give him more health. And yeah, it's still... You know, I was... This rework is not... It's not to a good start, I'm going to lie. The same upgrades, the same tower icons, and the only thing that really changed was like 5 more HP at the beginning. How much does level 2 have? It used to have 60 all the time. Does it have more now? Because if it doesn't, I'm gonna be kinda mad. It's 60. <laughs> Let's see the gunner. And here's what the main difference is. Level 4 tank, it still has the same icon from like 2019. But hey, it actually got an HP buff. I think it also used to be 60, now it's actually 90. It's slightly better now. Actually, this gun is not that bad. It's actually pretty decent, I would say. But saving up for the tank is gonna take us some time. And sadly, I don't think the gunner can actually see hidden enemies. Which might be an issue later on. So I got five military bases level 3. So I have five different gunners. And they're actually pretty decent for their price, not going to lie. They just die to the shadows because they by themselves don't have any hidden detection. Okay, let's get a tank. And we actually get an ice ability, and it has 100 damage. How good is that? Wow. Okay, this actually might be good. Ice tech explosion range, 8 from... So yeah, ice tech does 100 damage, and has only a range of 8. And also has a little bit of delay. But if you aim it right, yeah, it does a lot of damage. I think it actually does like two air strikes. This is actually decent. Okay, what about the tank? Oh, tank even has more health than before. Yeah, military base might actually be kinda decent now. Oh. Okay, that's more than 100 damage. Definitely, how much damage does that deal? Also, the tanks are massive now. Look at the size of those tanks. Nice. Hello, Bakers. Can I just spam? <laughs> Yo, that's actually so goated. Sadly, the level 5 railgun tank doesn't get, get that much better. Like, 50 more damage is okay, but I think the range, the explosion range is more beneficial overall. Yeah, this airsack does not deal 100 damage. This is more than 100. I think 100 is per... Just per rocket, not per entire barrage. Let's see how the tank can handle breakers. Okay, I, it died to the shadow boss. That's a shame. What about this guy? Ooh, I think he got a major b buff as well. 1500. And 80 dam damage splash. That's 
That's good. Okay, here comes the the tank. And I don't think the breakers... Uh, and I, I think they fixed the breakers. They don't one-shot kill anymore. Okay, the tank is coming. Let's see. Who's gonna win? Oh my god, he's, he's getting absolutely wrecked. Yeah, he's dead. Let's see the breakers. The breakers versus the airstrikes. Oh my god. The, all the breakers. <laughs> yeah. Air stack is amazing for breakers. Jesus. They just got decimated. And the cooldown isn't that long either. It's like 45 seconds, but the damage does. It is kind of worth it. Also, another wave of breakers, which I can just... We can just do this. I remember when breakers used to be like... So bad. That they just killed the military base in just one shot. Let's see if the military base can actually get to the Fallen King. If if it can get to the Fallen King, I'm going to be surprised. Where's the plane? There it is. It's like a stealth bomber or something. Also more breakers, which we're gonna just decimate. Bye bye breakers. Oh my god. Okay, let's see. Military base used to suck against those guys, but now they don't. They actually don't get one shot at anymore. They actually fixed it. Uh oh, the necromancer boss. He here is again. Uh, there's actually two of them, and I don't have anything to help. If this, if military base gets past this, I think we might be good. The problem is, this is not going to be easy. This actually might be over. Wait. Come on, come on, there's only Warden left. Come on, yes, we're alive! So those arrows, I don't want those arrows. That that missed, sadly. Oh no. Okay, we should be fine though. Get those arrows instead. Ooh, nice. I don't think there's any Necromancer boss on this wave, thankfully though. Which should buy us some time to regroup. Look at those giant bosses. Come on, this the ability. Yeah, that did so much more than 150. Oh my god, the amount of breakers. <laughs> Only the breakers left. Come on, you can tank it. That was not a pun. I don't think we're going to win this fallen mode, but I think we might get to last wave. Nice. Those arrows though, uh oh. There's a lot of them. Come on, I need one more. Just one more military base. Ooh! Just in time. Oh, necromancer boss. I think I think this might be over. I think this necromancer boss is going to be the end of us. If it is, I think I'm just going to skip away. Look at the amount of fallen heroes. Now this is this is probably not possible, even with all those ice stacks. So I'm just gonna skip the wave. So, yeah, with my attack base, you can get to wave 40, but you are not going to make it past the Fallen Boss. I mean, the Fallen King. There's all those Fallen Heroes, and the Necromancer Boss is probably going to give you a lot of trouble. Well... This tower is actually decent now. It still takes a long time to play with military base only because it's 23 minutes. But if you use it, it can actually hold its own.